guys and welcome again to Eswakago YouTube channel where we inspire, we inform and we also encourage people. Yeah, it's another good day that the Lord has given us so that we might sit here on this bench and get to know or to learn one or two things. And today I have a very sensitive topic, yet a topic that is not new to you. I'm sure and this is about homelessness in America so yeah homelessness in America does not only affect immigrants but it also in a big array affect natives of this land so I know you know America in terms of the beautiful part of America but there is also the other side of america because in every state the whole of the world there is the beautiful part and there is also the ugly part and some things in life they do happen to just anyone they can happen to just anyone they do not choose where to get you from or at so let me tackle a topic about homelessness in america and to start with, I just want to clear this. For you to be homeless in America, it doesn't mean that you are lazy. It doesn't mean like you are a drug addict. It doesn't mean that you have all the vice that you guys know about. But this is something that can even get to me, God forbid, as soon as next week. How? Let me break this down. So, let's say for example, uh... Last month, I had a car accident. That is something very much, very much unexpected. And it can befall just anyone. So I had a car and I was coming from work. So I had a job too. I had a, I had a car, I had a job. I had a house cause I had, I had come from the house. So I was returning back to my home. And when I had the accident and when I had the accident, for example, if I had an, the accident and God forbid I broke my leg, for example, God forbid, I broke my leg and breaking my leg means I can no longer work. And this is very unforeseen. Just figure it this way. You came from your house. You went to work. You had a car. You had two legs. And you had a house, a home, where you came from, definitely. But now coming back, you don't have a car. You, you cannot work anymore because you do have a leg that is broken. And for most jobs in America, for you to be able to work, you really have to have your full body fit. You have to be very physically fit, meaning when you cannot stand because of your leg you cannot walk it is very rare to find something you could do without you moving because from that point between that point and the point that you're gonna be able to get back to yourself to be able to get out there and work again things do happen very fast for example if i do not go to work because i broke my leg that would only mean I do not have an income anymore. No more income. When I do not have an income, I have a house that I'm supposed to pay. I have a house rent or mortgage I'm supposed to pay at the end of the month without violating. Because you know, in America, they have due dates. And those due dates, they act like pregnancy. After nine months, the baby has to come. The same thing with American bills. At the due date, you have to pay. What happens if you you don't pay? They give you a warning. Of course, you are late with your bills, payment. And after like three months, if you do not do something, and something means paying at least the minimum that they want, then what happens is that they're going to disconnect your bills. It doesn't matter if you are broken, you are, your leg, or if you broke your leg of what you did. But... The bills are due so what happens if this is a rental house 
and they disconnect your electricity or your gas which is used to heat the house or the water or anything what happens the owner of the house will now demand you to get out of his house why the minute you are not able to pay bills in that house it means it's it, there is a very big possibility of you um participating or you are contributing to distracting his house in what way for example during the winter season you have to have electricity to heat the house or the gas to heat the house if they get disconnected that means even the pipes the water pipes they gonna they gonna freeze if they freeze they gonna burst if they burst the, the house gonna flood if the house floods what is that you are destroying his house the house of the owner so that is why they gonna get you out of the, your house as quickly as possible you guys don't understand this if you do not live in the countries that use electricity or gas in order to keep the right conditions in the house so once the 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 the, the, the house owner kicks you out from that moment you have become a homeless person how you get kicked out you do not have a job the minute you get kicked out because of failure to pay utilities in us in someone's house already you have broken the lease yeah you broke the lease breaking the lease means when you sign uh, into a house you have to sign a lease of at least one year so if you get out of that house before one year you have broken the lease and that goes to your credit uh, credit record which in result will affect your credit score meaning when you go to the next house to look for a house for one they won't give you a house why you do not have a job second you broke a lease so you're not even a person who can be trusted to be least a home because you do not even you cannot even stay in one place at least for the uh, agreed time that is as per the agreement so you do not have an income you cannot be uh, given a home because for you to be given a house in a um you need like three pay stubs at least three current pay stubs and you need a credit score which you just messed up by breaking the lease so what happens next remember you lost your car you do not even have a car to live in you do not even have a pay stub to secure a new house a new home a new place you can call home so the very minute you had that accident and you broke your leg it is the same very minute you became a potential candidate of a homeless uh, homelessness that is how fast it happens in america so not everyone who cannot be able to secure a home for themselves not everyone is a drug addict not everyone is an alcoholic not everyone is lazy but things do happen and most of the people who end up being uh, homeless they are people they are, they are there because of uh, reasons that led them one thing led to the other until they found themselves homeless so no pay stub no income no uh, credit no good credit you do not have uh, a good history about um, your leasing uh, history so you are here you do not have a home they cannot uh, give you a home anymore and unless someone comes and signs you are lease for 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 yourself they sign it for you you cannot have a house and what happens next you just end up to the shelter all out there um in the streets not because you are irresponsible not because you are lazy not because you are an addict not because you did anything wrong but one thing led to the other and it added you to homelessness it is just by the grace of god whenever you see that person out there whenever you hear people telling you so and so went to america but today they are homeless that's why they do not even come home forget about coming home because th they need an air ticket that is worth a thousand maybe they do not even have a job why 
because of what I just told you. Nothing so big. So before you judge people, just know there is a story that led them to be who they are today. And in America, most people don't even have uh, relatives to help them out. And even in some cases, those relatives you think they can help you in America, mm -mm, they don't. They don't because they have their own burdens. And sometimes, sometimes it is very hard for your own people to help you out when you are in need. So it is a very sad situation. And this happens to anyone, everybody. It can happen to just everybody or anyone. Because you know what? Problems don't just pick people. It befalls just anyone. And that is how people end up being homeless in America, even for 10 years. Yeah. Until they can get back to their feet and stabilize. And what even is worse, what is, what is even more worse is that when someone gets out there and they were used to being independent, they were used to being able to support themselves, what they, they, they face is depression from the frustration of life. And they end up sometimes becoming now the addict, the drug abusers that you see them as today. But that is not who they were. It is not who they were. It is not something they chose. But tell me, how are you supposed to survive out there in the cold, in the cold, being sober? How? How will you do it? It is hard. It is so hard. So sometimes people will just get relief from things that keep them out of this world. At least give them, um, helps them to see things in another way, in a more maybe beautiful way than what they face in their day-to-day -day life. So people who become um, alcoholic, people who become drug abusers, it's not necessarily because they chose to, but circumstances before them and because they were not strong enough to encounter it, to fight through it, they found themselves sunken into drugs, into alcoholism, and not because they chose to, but situations just led them there because they were not strong enough to fight the circumstances that conditions threw them into. Guys, before you judge, just know the story behind the person. So many things lead people to who they are today, not because of their own choices, but things that befall them that you do not know anything about them. So guys, have a good time and do not forget to keep on keeping on how we can only do that through Christ who strengthens us. And through him, we have all the strength that we might need to fight just anything, just anything in this life. Bye bye guys, and I'll see you in the next video.